This video is brought to you by Tactile Turn. They make fully machined pins right here in the US out of materials like bronze, titanium, copper, and zirconium. Tactile Turn also has click pins like the movers and shakers and a new bolt action knife. But more recently, they launched a redesigned bolt action pin with shorter, snappier action, a refined tip, and a new and improved shape. To see more about what Tactile Turn has to offer, hit the link in the description below. And if you purchase anything using those links, it will help support the show. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. And if you're new here, I, this is a community show, so I start off every single episode with community announcements, and there are quite a few this week, only because, well, I got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. For starters, this is the 50th episode of the EDC Weekly. In actuality, it's episode 76, because I did 26 episodes on the other channel before killing the series and bringing it back later. I have a ton ton of videos in the backlog, like almost 30 videos that I've either promised to get done, I want to do, or I just want to experiment with something. I've got so many videos to make, and I just don't have enough time to do them all. Part of the reason for that is this weekly show I do. I enjoy making it. It does get a little bit tiresome at times because I've done 76 episodes of mostly the same thing, and this show takes up probably about 60 to 70% of my week. So I did the tactile turn video earlier this week. That took up a day and a half, roughly. The rest of the week was spent working on this show. It takes a lot of time. It is a bigger production. I have to take some time away from this show to get a bunch of videos out. I've been sitting on products. Some of the products I have on my desk I've had for like four or five months. Gotta get those videos done. So, so given that, I'm gonna step back a little bit from the EDC Weekly. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not stopping it altogether, but it's probably going to turn into like a bi-weekly or once a month thing just until I get caught up. But I also want to mix it up. I want to do something a little different. That's 76 episodes of approximately the exact same thing every time. So I got an idea. I was watching a Peter McKinnon video where he edits your photos. It's very similar to the EDC Weekly. And I asked him, I said, do you mind if I kind of build off that idea and do something similar with my show just to mix things up a little bit. And he said, not at all, go for it. So the idea is you will submit your photos and I will edit them how I would because I do edit these photos. I get a lot of questions about it, so I will show you my process, which may or may not be correct. I might be making some photo editing faux pas. I don't know, I have no clue, but I thought it would be fun just as an experiment. So if you guys wanna see that, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget, Travex has a promotion that is ending at the end of this month, where if you buy any wallet on their website, you get a free Summit wallet. Just use my link down below and that will put that in your cart when you go to check out. Also, also, I have the Travex giveaway that ends at the end of this month as well. We're giving away 50 Summit wallets, 50. Just hit the link down below, go enter, and you could win one of 50 wallets. And finally, the EDC Weekly winner for the monthly giveaway in June is Max Bernier or Bernier. He submitted this photo right here. Congratulations, Max, I will be in touch. With that said, this week's show doesn't really have a theme. If you were to pick one, maybe, maybe badass knives or something, I don't know. These are just ones that I really, really liked. Some of the best that I've seen this month. So with all of that said, let's do the damn thing. Well, this is the second time I've been here to shoot this video this week. The microphone decided to not work for me last time, so here we are again. But I figured I would take that time to share with you a little discovery that I made this week. So this bag was sent to me a very long time ago from Nutsack, like a year ago, maybe longer. I don't know. I never really did much with it. I talked about the, uh, the Sack Daddy, the big Nutsack that they sell. This is the mag satch, and I never really did anything with this because if I ever left the house, I always took my laptop with me, which was a 15 inch MacBook Pro. But as you guys know, I recently switched to an iPad Pro. That's what I do all of my mobile computing with. And I made a discovery just last night. This is the perfect bag for me. This, I think for the foreseeable future will be my everyday bag. If I leave the house to go do some work, I'm probably taking this bag with me. And here's why, it fits everything I need perfectly. So inside I've got my Peak Design camera strap. I have a Yellow Birch Outfitters organizer. This is not normally gonna be in there, but that's in there, there's room for it. 
my EDC work kit, which I am going to do a video on eventually, the adapter, the USB-C card reader for my iPad, macro barrel extenders for my camera, and this isn't a camera I would normally have in here, but it is in here just for representation. This is the Sony a6500. This is usually the third angle that I have. Uh, the camera back there is an a7R3. That's the one that goes with me. Of course, a microfiber cloth and the iPad Pro with the keyboard case, the keyboard folio, the pencil and all that jazz. Two lights. So a lot of you ask how I do my photography. I take these with me everywhere and I have additional lights that I can hit the products with. So I can angle them differently. I can be holding a camera like this point and I have light that I can move around and just hit just different parts of a product. That's a little, little tip for you guys there. These things are awesome. These are aperture lights, bad batteries, and my SD card, which I don't know why that's in there, but there is a spot inside the bag for everything. Pretty cool, huh? One more thing, I almost forgot this. So a few weeks ago, I was talking about Swiss Army knives, specifically the Victorinox Swiss Army Cadet. I said that this thing, I just couldn't fall in love with it. I didn't like it. If I were gonna buy a Swiss Army knife, I'd get like the Mini Champ or the Pioneer or the Pioneer X or something to that degree. And I said the Cadet just doesn't really have a place in my pocket. And I got called out by several people in DMs and the comments. A lot of people were like, man, what's wrong with the cadet? Maybe you should give it another try. So I did. I've carried this thing for almost two weeks now and I am happy to say I was wrong. This is a killer knife. I like it. I think I really did not give it the credit it deserves and I kind of got it in. It was thin and small. And I was like, eh, I'd rather have the Pioneer X. This thing's easier to carry than the Pioneer X. It's much lighter, much thinner, and it has all the tools you need other than scissors. If this had scissors, it would be perfect, but then you would basically have a Pioneer X. So yeah, Cadet, I take it back. I love you, Cadet. And because of that, I'm gonna give this one away. This is my personal one, it's been used, and I'm gonna give this one away. All you have to do is comment down below with a number between, let's say 2,000 and 3,000. I will pick a number at random, but you do have to be over 18 to win because, well, it's a knife. I will ship internationally, but you have to show me that you're over 18 somehow. Um, not quite sure how that's gonna work out, but. I wanted to just give back because you guys, you called me out, I was wrong. Here we are, I'm admitting it. I'm happy to admit it, Cadet is awesome. First up this week, we have a submission from Brody Wegner. Wegener. It's right here, like always, it didn't give a Instagram or anything for us to follow him, but I think he's over in the Discord. Uh, this one was cool because it was kind of gritty, you know, it's, it's rustic. He's got some dirt on his thumb and this looks like, hey, I'm at work, but here's what's in my pocket. That just vibes with me, I like it. So first up in the center of the photo in the organizer is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, but on that he has pink scales. Beside that is a DIY pry tool that he made himself. And in the left pocket is the Zebra F-701. Underneath that is an adjustable wrench and he also has a field book. In the back, he keeps a Carhartt money clip so you don't see it in the picture here. You also don't see his tweezers, but he has those. And then finally, the organizer is the Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro Modern in Coyote Tan. And Brody says, my knife won't really change till I lose it because my wife got it for me, hence the pink scales. The pry tool is a constant work in progress and I hope to make more. I found I don't really need any other wallet since my money clip holds my two cards and money just fine in the back zipper pocket. I can't wait to get my Olight and I absolutely love the Yellow Birch Outfitters EDC organizer. I highly recommend to everyone. Not much else to say, everything is self-explanatory. Oh, I also carry a keyboard to organize my keys. And then finally, he's seeking some Something. He says, the only thing to improve is a flashlight. I have an Olight SR2 baton, the small one. I'm probably wrong on the name. Okay, so the small one is the S1R2 and the bigger one, the long one is the S2R2. You've already sought it out, you've already bought it. So you're not, not really seeking anything. But yeah, like I said, this picture just kind of seems like, hey, here's actually what's in my pockets. I'm at work, wherever this is, at some abandoned house or something. And you just dumped your pockets right then and there and took a photo. Really cool, I like this and I love the, the pocket organizer. I still carry one, I don't carry it every day, but I frequently switch back to it because I like it so much and it's just constantly in rotation. Absolutely killer carry. Thank you Brody for submitting and you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. Next up we have a submission from Ming. You can actually find him over on Instagram at photo. This photo jumped out at me because well, it's aesthetically pleasing. It gets put together well, and it's got some of my favorite stuff in there, like coffee. Yeah, that's coffee in my whiskey glass. So what? Actually, for OGs, you'll remember that this is a, a Tang glass from the like 80s, I think, or 90s. But first up in the top left of the photo is 
coffee. It doesn't really say what coffee, but I would be interested to know. Next to that is his orbit key. That's the key organizer of choice. And then below that is the machine era company TI5 titanium slim wallet. Next to that above the phone is the Olay S1R2 baton in titanium. That is the spring edition. And below that, the phone is the Google Pixel 2 XL. To the right of that is the JL Lawson & Co brass top, as well as a Fisher Space Pen bullet and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 which has flytanium titanium scales. And there is a bead on the lanyard, but he does not mention what it is. And then finally in the far right of the photo is his watch of choice, the Slow Mo 06 watch. I love those watches. And uh, I don't know if they're quality. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if I should spend money on one. I've reached out to them and I didn't hear a response, but they're really, really interesting. So rather than having three hands on a watch like mine, like I can track seconds, specifically when I'm shooting these videos because my camera cuts off at 30 minutes so I can rotate the bezel and track the time. But these watches are the opposite of that. So you can tell the time, but you definitely don't want to track time on it because it moves so slow as the name suggests it's a very slow watch because there's only one hand every index is 15 minute increments so you can't track seconds you can track minutes sort of really cool design i think they're really really interesting i'd like to try one out at some point um it wouldn't work for me for this setup because this is what i rely on but cool nonetheless and they're very very simple designs very minimalist anyway ming says hello taylor i love the channel i have an edd EDC, OCD, and I'm slightly OCD. Wait, no, I have an EDD, EDC, ODC, and I'm slightly OCD. Whew, that's tough. That was tough the first time, it's tough now. Coffee is my EDD, my everyday drink. I don't know what theme I have going on here, but the colors are working. Some blue, black, brass, gold, and the slow watch has all 24 hours on the face and only one hand. Hours are divided into 15 minute increments. The Spyderco PM2 is a tad big and is left at home when I work because I work at an airport. So it's part of my ODC, my off day carry. It has titanium handles from Flytanium and was anodized and has neat little hex shapes in different colors from a maker on Etsy called Flyaway Toys. The brass Fisher Space Pin Bullet is developing some nice patina. The Machine Era TI5 Slim Wallet is RFID blocking, but I also put some titanium RFID blocking card from Cal Tie Wallets no space on Etsy in the wallet as well. It has hex cutouts, so it's a tool as well. I mostly work outside, but on the occasion that I work inside, I fiddle with the top of my desk. Keep up the great work, sir. A really, really neat, and I like that you've you know paired up your hex themes here. Um, I'm a sucker for anything hex. Anyway, this is some great gear. I like the, I don't really know what the theme is either, but I really like it. It's pieced together well. Got some cool gear in there, and I love those scales on the PM2. I really like those a lot. So anyway, thank you for sharing Ming. You now have a second entry into the July giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Russell. You can find him over on Instagram at Seattle underscore EDC. And this is a carbon fiber and copper carry, which is a really weird dichotomy. Like you've got really high strength, really lightweight material and a really soft, heavy material, and you put them together. It's weird. I, I've seen a lot of copper and carbon fiber mixed together. It's just a weird combination to me. It looks good together. It contrasts really well, but it is also kind of funny that, you know, the carbon fiber is super lightweight, super effective and efficient material, and copper is literally the opposite. Anyway, first up in the left of the photo is his key bar. That is the carbon fiber and titanium version of the key bar. He also has an Olight i3e EOS in copper. He uses a key bar magna also in copper to attach that to his key bar. And he also has a Dylan Grace pry tool. Next to that is the pin. That is the Hinderer investigator pin in copper with a battlefield pickup finish. And he has an Olight S1R baton too also in copper. I guess a theme this week could also be S1R baton twos, right? They're, they've been in every single one or at least mentioned so far. Next to that is his knife of choice. That's the Rick Hinderer XM18. On that, he has copper hardware with Shepard CC carbon fiber scales. And then underneath everything is a Hanks by Hank Octo Hank. Russell says, it's taken me a while to get exactly what I envisioned. Like everyone else, I love copper and carbon fiber and have found they contrast very well, but I finally got what I wanted and I'll be content for a while. I got the Travex Ascent coming in the mail in a couple of days and I would like the bolder watch you featured and maybe a bolt action pin. Oh, and the spry bar, it never ends. Love your show, keep it up. <laughs> I thought you said you were content, but you just listed all the things you want. There is no contentment in the world of EDC. That's just the way it is. I said I was content, and then I ended up buying a large Sabenza, and I was like, now I'm content, and now I want something else. You know, I want a Grimsmo Norseman or something. Uh, it never ends. I'm never happy. I just want all the things. That's it. I just want all the things. So why don't we all conspire together? People from the Charlotte area will conspire together. We'll go together and buy all the things, and then we'll just have like a space where we can go. We don't have to take things out of there. We can just go there and flip something open twice and leave. Like that's all we want to do anyway, right? You want to hold it 
flip something, maybe cut a box. We'll just have stacks of Amazon boxes we can cut and then walk out and leave. You know, we're gonna call it the EDC Center. Don't steal my idea. <laughs> just kidding, it's a really dumb idea, but also I would go there. I'd go there and hang out. Anyway, this this carry is really cool. I love those Hinderer Investigator pins. I really do. Like, I'm not a huge twist cap pin guy, but I love the way these look. The, the design on the body is just interesting. I would suggest maybe to keep your theme going here, swapping out that one titanium scale on your key bar for a copper one. Anyway, awesome carry. I love when people piece things together like this. Really great stuff. I'm rambling again. Thank you for submitting and you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. Next up, we have a carry from Jason G. And this one, when you think about badass knives, most people don't think about slip joints or traditionals. I'm the opposite. If there's a really nice slip joint or traditional, it's badass to me. The Benchmade proper is badass. I love that knife. And also I bought the Northwoods Little Bay. Love it. It's smaller than I expected, but I absolutely love it. And it's badass. What about Burlap Marcarta on a clip point traditional like Barlow pattern is not badass. I love it. It's just exactly what I want for a classy dressy knife. Anyway, this knife fits that bill as well. And it doesn't have to have a flipper tab or a thumb stud or anything else to be badass. This one is badass. Anyway, first up in the left of the photo is the Herschel Charlie wallet in black leather. And on top of that, you know, just casual Rolex wear is the Rolex Explorer 2. Behind that is Burt's Bees lip balm. And then next to that is the knife in question, the GEC number 43 in natural canvas micarta. Below that is his Victorinox, that is the Swiss Army Tinker Warthog Edition. And then in front of that are his Apple AirPods. And then finally not pictured here is his phone, that is the Apple iPhone 8 Plus, which I imagine was used to take the photo. He says, these are the things I had in my pocket today as my EDC changes often. The standards are a Victorinox as a backup knife and a multi-tool and a larger folder. Lately, I've been really into great Eastern Cutlery Traditionals. The fit and finish is great. And even a larger blade like the number 43 is less intimidating and tactical when I pull it out to cut boxes or food at the office. And he's also seeking something. He says, I'm still looking for a quality pocket slip for the GEC. Such a nice knife, it deserves a proper slip. And it's funny you should say that because I think this knife would fit inside the Hitch and Timber proper slip. And that's what I would suggest. It has a pin loop, which will hold something like a Fisher Space Pin Bullet, but also can fit the proper or something similarly sized like this number 43. I don't know if it's the right size. You could probably DM Hitch and Timber on Instagram or email Michael. He may know. If anybody in the comments knows, let us know if the number 43 fits in the proper slip, but there are a lot of different slips he has. If you didn't want the pin loop, I think you can also add notes saying to leave the pin loop off. That would be my suggestion. There's also, if that's not a good fit for it, if it's too small or too big, uh, Popov Leather also has the EDC Armor. Similar products, really awesome carry. Thank you for submitting and you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. All right, the fifth and final submission this week comes from Graham Howe. You can find him over on Instagram at the EDC Kid. And the first time I shot this, Jabin was here helping me out. And he said, why did you save this dinky carry for the last one? Dinky, really, a chamois, a dinky carry. Don't blame him, Jabin is still learning. He's, he's figuring things out. <laughs> You won't see it because the video is screwed up, but Jabin apologized to Graham and then they tried to, he tried to bond with Graham over being a homeschooler. We're getting into the weeds. Let's, let's cut our way back out of the weeds. First up in the far left of the photo is the Olight S1 baton. Next to that is Carmex lip balm and his wallet, the recycled firefighter. I think that's a sergeant wallet. I could be wrong. I've not seen this colorway, but I think it's a sergeant. I, I don't know. Next to that is the tactical pterodactyl fixed blade with a Lynch Northwest bead on the lanyard. And then finally is the Gareth Bull Shemwari. And Graham says, as a 14 year old, this is what I carry. I am homeschooled so I can carry a knife year round. Also, I have an iPhone 6 that took the picture with. I carried a Kara's custom bolt pin for a while, which I handed to my counselor at camp and boom, it's gone. Probably will pick up a TI Scribe soon. Also, I normally carry a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass, but I sold mine and I need Another one, you're here. I have mine, I didn't sell mine, but I want the All Access Pass 1.2. I didn't realize they were so much bigger than the two. The two is really small. Anyway, Graham is looking for something. He said, I'm looking to get a leather sleeve that can fit a pin, wallet, flashlight, and a pry bar. Something that would hold all of those would probably be something like the Duzzle from Hitch and Timber. A wallet, yes. It'll hold a pin, a flashlight, and a pry bar. It wouldn't hold this flashlight. Maybe you could look into an urban organizer from, from Urban EDC Supply, maybe? I don't know. I used the Urban Organizer Hybrid as a wallet for a long time. I would put my pin in there, a small knife like the Proper or the uh, Small Sabenza or a Swiss Army knife, a uh, pocket notebook, I would put my cards in the back, but no room for a flashlight. I don't like I don't like thick lights like the S1R or the S2R or anything in a leather organizer or really in an organizer at all. This one's fine because it resides on my belt. 
This is the mini clip trio or mini trio clip. So it clips onto my belt. Um, so I don't mind that this is in there, but when this is in your pocket, I hate that bulge. I can clip this light to the rim of my pocket and it's not really that bad, but when a pocket organizer like this goes down into your pocket and it bulges like that, I cannot stand it. I, I really don't know if anybody has an idea for what leather organizer would hold those items for him. That again is a wallet, pin, flashlight, and a pry bar. Let us know in the comments down below, but really great carry. I've been seeing a lot of these pterodactyls lately. Really, really nice fixed blade. Small, really compact. I like that a lot. And I'm also becoming a huge fan of those combo grinds with the hollow and then a flat grind on the the tip. I guess it's a Tonto. Is that a Tonto? Almost like a Sponto. I don't know. I like the pterodactyl. I think it's a really neat looking knife. I love rock pattern everything. And those chamois are just so clean. Man, they're so clean, but they're also very pricey. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Graham. You don't have a second entry. Actually, you don't have a second entry into the July giveaway because you're 14. Sorry, not sorry. That is going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you want to support what I'm doing here, you can go to carry.best. That is carry commission. That is my own website. You can buy gear directly from me as well as shirts. Not this one because this is a Patreon exclusive shirt, but you can buy shirts like this one. And if you're interested in anything you saw in this video, I take the time to link all of those things down below everything. And if you click through those links, those are affiliate links and I get a little bit of a kickback if you end up purchasing anything. Thing, but it doesn't cost you anything extra and you can go to patreon.com forward slash best medc if you want to support there be sure to follow us around the web you can find us on twitter and instagram at best medc you can find me taylor martin on twitter and instagram at casper tech and until next time carry on